Hey everybody, Dixon back here, just thinking about Donald Trump, unfortunately, <sighs> and thinking about why he's been resonating with so many white folks all over America, and why there's millions and millions of Trump signs in white folks' yards all over America, and the obvious reason is white America loves white supremacy. <laughs> They're all about the whiteness. And Donald Trump is their leader. Donald Trump gives the shy racist a voice. He says, you don't have to speak in code anymore. You can just say you don't like Mexicans and Muslims, and that's okay. <laughs> you can assault black women in the rallies, and that's okay. You can assault black people, and that's okay. He encourages violence toward people of color. Openly. Not covertly. Not politically correct. And white people love it. Because we've had a black president and white people just freak the fuck out. And no, I'm not saying all white people, obviously. For all the fragile white apologists that are so concerned about white stereotypes, but don't give a fuck about black or brown stereotypes, or racial injustice, or white supremacy. But oh my God, they're so concerned about white stereotypes. <clears throat> Hypocrites. But anyhow... He's their leader for the shy racist. He, it's what he does, and he's doing it well. I guess it's good that we know who racists are, you know, but it also he's encouraging racism by being one. So this is not good. This, is, this could really, really hurt a lot of people. This could get a lot of people killed, including white people. There's a cost to white supremacy, white America. Karma. It always comes back. Dirty deeds <laughs> eventually comes back to you. And that's the problem with white America. The bully's always scared of their victims. We've been scared since we, we robbed and raped and murdered the first indigenous people. We've been scared since we enslaved people of color. We live in Jim Crow 2.0. That's what we live in. Mass incarceration, racial disparities off the charts institutionally in every single American institution. Nothing has changed since 2016. There's racial disparities in education. A revisionist education teaches you. If you graduate from high school, you're white and you're not racist, you must have got an F in social studies. Jane Elliott, she said that. And it's true. If you watch TV and you're not a racist, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> this is the way our society's brought up. We're indoctrinated from day one. From birth, from day one, we are taught the lies and the myths of white supremacy. And Donald Trump is their new voice and their new hero. So all the frustrated white apologists, all the frustrated, all the white folks that's been saying, oh, let's not talk about racism. It's too divisive. Oh, the real racist today is black people. They're the real threat. They're the real racists, not white people. These are the same people that Donald Trump rallies yelling the N-word. <laughs> or ignoring the other people that are saying the N-word because they don't give a fuck. The truth is coming out. You're a racist. That's why you're there. You don't need to be coded about it. You're a racist. Just say I'm a racist. I hate people of color. I support white people. I support whiteness. I support white nationalism. I support white supremacy. I support racial injustice. I support the lynching that the police are doing to people of color. This is what Donald Trump is all about. And white people love it. I'm not shocked. It's always been there. It's just having a black president brought it out. And then having the population turning brown and blacker every single year, white people's freaking out. They're losing their privileges. They're scared of losing their privileges. And they're greedy. They've always been greedy. White people always want to be on top. We know, as white people, this country was made for us. We don't want to lose that. <laughs> we want to hang on to it. So it's a sad state of affairs. But it's also very revealing of just to the extent that our white supremacist culture, how deep it runs. It's a sad, sad state of affairs. And uh, I'm fearful what's going to happen. Why people think that it's not going to affect them. No, it does affect you. There will be a cost to this. You can't oppress people for 400 years and expect for it not to blow up in your fucking face. There comes a time when you have to speak the truth, acknowledge the truth, 
address it and pass it on and do what's morally right. White supremacy is the most openly neglected evil of our time. And we're not doing a goddamn fucking thing about it. And we never have. So stop the tradition. Stop the legacy of white supremacy. I'm asking. I'm begging white America. Take some fucking racial responsibility and do something about it. That's all for now.